Welcome to the Concentrated Solar Power Session of FlowServe's Destination Innovation Virtual Conference. My name is Jeff Parrish, and as FlowServe's Molten Salt Control Valve Specialist, I will be your presenter for this session. I will briefly cover an overall goal of the CSP industry, its status and growth, maintenance pain points experienced by system operators, FlowServe's experience in providing solutions to this market, and finally, FlowServe's advances in developing the next generation of molten salt control valve technology and the benefits that technology can offer. Collecting and storing energy from concentrated solar power, or CSP, is a core energy transition technology. The stored heat is used for a range of energy productions during the day as well as at night when collection is not possible. In recent years, the development focus has been on achieving higher operating temperatures and longer storage times to broaden the efficiency and utility of this core concept. The goal for utilizing this carbon-free method of energy storage is to provide the full range of process temperatures required for industry, ranging from cement and glass making to desalination of water and food processing, and everything in between. These target industrial processes include multiple methods for producing hydrogen, capturing CO2 and carbon, and producing the feedstock compounds required to produce sustainable fuels. The CSP industry is growing, nearly doubling in size over the next three years. While parabolic troughs are the most common operational CSP configuration, power towers are the most common under development as they are capable of higher operating temperatures than can be achieved with parabolic trough systems. While nitrate salts are used in all current CSP systems, the demand for ever higher operating temperatures and improved efficiency requires the use of chloride salts. With Gen 2 nitrate salt power tower CSP units, operating temperatures of 580C or 1076 Fahrenheit can be reached. With the use of chloride salts, operating temperatures of 750 C or 1380 Fahrenheit can be reached. While the use of chloride salts allows for higher operating temperatures, they also generate a greater corrosion aspect, requiring them to development of new materials from which to construct the valves. On top of these hurdles, the current issues with salt leaks through packing and gaskets, short maintenance windows, and recovering from salt-free situations still need to be addressed. The Mark I control valve has been used from the beginning as both a control and isolation valve in Gen 1 and Gen 2 CSP systems. These years of experience have led to our currently installed Gen 2 top of the line configuration of the Mark I, including bellow seals and pressurized metal O-rings for gaskets. In combination with special load washers under the body bolting, these features combine to compensate for thermal expansion issues maintain dynamic sealing and provide proven sealing cap capability to prevent leaks. Careful thermal heating control and temperature monitoring help prevent the flexing of the bellows in the presence of solid salt. With the demand for higher Gen 3 operating temperatures using more corrosive chloride salts, new materials and various design changes were required to meet the performance requirements. FlowServe's Gen 3 valve technology addresses many of the Gen 2 issues with the use of high strength nickel alloys for valve components, the development of new pressurized packing systems that resist oxidation, corrosion, and salt packing, and are easier to replace when maintenance is required. It includes special seals that can handle the thermal cycles without leaking. New multiply pressurized bellows construction technology lowers the pressure differential across the bellows giving these types of seals longer life and greater resistance to corrosion and rupture. New methods of controlling the system temperatures through a thermal management system greatly enhance the ability to recover a system from a salt freeze. FlowServe is developing new methods of isolating the corrosion zones away from critical valve components to extend their life. By combining these enhancements with our current Gen 2 technology and experience, a complete control valve system that addresses all the current pain points can be accomplished. With FlowServe's Gen 3 molten salt control valve technology, a new level of reliability can be achieved to meet the needs of the next generation of CSP systems. With better corrosion and multi-tier leak protection, 
easier maintenance and improved thermal management, a longer valve life and better system operation can be achieved. One of the side benefits of this, of this technology is that it can be applied as a control valve solution to other related energy industries that use high temperature molten salt in their processes, such as molten salt power reactors, hydrogen production, and carbon capture. With so many Gen 2 systems operating and in development, there is the immediate benefit that much of this technology can be applied to those systems and even other types of valves, like isolation and check valves, to improve the operation and reliability for much of the world's existing CSP infrastructure. Looking to the future, FlowServe is involved in at least 16 project-related partnerships to apply our Gen 3 molten salt valve technology to the next generation of CSP, as well as a variety of other energy transition related industries. These include other types of salt, more efficient heat transfer and storage methods, and low pressure liquid fuel Gen 4 reactor systems. The testing equipment developed and used for designing our Gen 3 CSP control valves provides FlowServe with a highly capable 2 inch Class 600 molten salt test loop located in VLOC, Austria. These development efforts and partnerships will help maintain FlowSource position as a leader in molten salt control valves with expansion to on-off and isolation valves, allowing FlowSource to provide equipment solutions to a core piece of energy transition infrastructure. Thank you for your time and attention and enjoy your continued exploration of FlowServe's Destination Innovation Virtual Conference.